So what I want to do is take you through um, my tuning, tuning experience. Basically, I've never tuned a car before beyond just adjusting boost levels based on logs and stuff like that. So just want to show you guys out there that you can do it just by reading stuff on the internet. Um, the stuff I'm relying on is on Stealth316.com. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you right now initial settings for your SAFC2. Um, and for my setups, it, my setup, it's 15G uh, turbos from Turbo Bob, and I have 550 CC injectors installed. So first thing after you wire it in, go on his website as well for the wiring diagram. I had a short video I showed uh, just how I wired it in, not really how to, just kind of a progress post. But now I'll show you how to get things initially set up. Um, so first thing, now it's all wired in correctly. One. Two, we're not starting the car, we're just turning the accessory on, and everything's booting up here. Alright, I'm trying to see the best. That should be good. Okay, so we have three options here, monitor, setting, etc. Uh, the first thing we want to get into is for, well, I'll explain it, monitoring, monitoring that's more looking at, uh, you can show battery voltage, knock, um, throttle uh, position, what correction you're running at, and RPM. Um, but we're going to first jump into the etc. So I come into here and start at the top, sensor type. Again, this is set up for um, 3000 GT. I also turn on the password protection. Um, I'm going to take it off now. And not that it matters, but I'm not going to show you the password. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, resetting. Etc. and come up here, sensor type. Um, so we have different options here, and it has to do with how the mass reports airflow for our 3000 GT application or stealth. It's the Carmen. So essentially, to select something, you get on it and then hit over on the right, or you can push the button in and hit next, and it basically selects it just to check it, jump back in, make sure it's on it. So now that that's good, back out of there, car select. Um, cylinders, and to adjust this, we can just roll up and down. Um, that'd be pretty sweet, 16, but no, we have 6. Uh, so set it to 6, and throttle wants to go up and to the right. It has to do with, I think it's 0 to anything below, from 0 to 1 volt is considered closed throttle. 4 and above is open, it's something like that, but essentially just make sure the air is going up and to the right. And again, you can adjust that with the little knob, but up and to the right is correct. And then to get back, I'll just push to the right, to the right. Sensor check. This has to do with, I mean, you can quickly see how things are working. So I have my different throttle voltage. Again, it's reading good. Come all the way open, it's above four. That means the ECU is going to consider it a wide open, open throttle case. That's good. Um, jump back here. Display scale. Um, I can't explain this exactly. I think it has to do with how m much RPM is showed across the scale when you're doing adjustment things, but these are my settings for right now. Uh, warning set, I haven't gotten to that, but you can get the screen to flash when you have the airflow exceed a certain amount or knock exceed. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Okay, so if knock gets above 10, show the warning. I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. God, I don't know who would want to. Once it's up at 200, I feel like you got other problems. All right, jumping back, you can turn on a password. Um, if you change passwords, you've bought it used. Mine happened to be 0000, uh, for unlocking it originally, then I changed it. Um, but essentially, we can set a password here. I'm just going to say, click in and say previous screen, and go back, and you can adjust the screen brightness, uh, show the program version. If you, the password, if you can't figure it out, um, what you can do is come into initialize, and basically that'll set it back to factory settings and then you'll be able to set your own password. So maybe do that before you do all the other settings so you can have your own password on it if you want. Alright, so that's good. Let's jump into setting. Alright, we have high throttle, low throttle. These are where we're adjusting how much air the computer's actually seen. We're not going to jump in there right now. We have throttle points. Um, essentially it's when does it use low throttle settings, when does it use high throttle settings. In between, it inter... he used a word 
basically takes like the average in between and makes like a linear graph and uses that. So for starting off, I'm going to start with 2550. Um, he, that's what he recommended. I didn't do all the logging beforehand to see when I'm in open loop versus closed loop mode. But 2550 is my setting here. And that's fine to use my setting for all the settings you've seen right now, you can use. In the future, everyone says, you know, you can't just post up settings, all cars are different. What I'm showing you right now, you can use, but as you fine tune, no, it, I can't give you uh, the correct things. Knee points. These are the different RPM values where I want to adjust the airflow. So I want to say like 35% less. The way it actually makes the most sense. Um, because we idle around 700, our red line is around 73, and by doing a start at 800 RPM, which is lowest RPM available, um, and running 600 RPM steps, we have 12 knee points, uh, it gets you to 7400, so it's almost like a perfect range for our car. So essentially all you do to adjust these is you jump in and you can go up or down, but you just wave it so. I set them at, so this is obviously 800 to 1400 to 6 RPM, add another 600, you get to 2000, and so on and so forth. So set that all up. Jump me back. Uh, sorry, can't comment on this yet. I'll read about it, and then maybe I'll post a comment, whatever this does. Something with to, to sell air. I guess when you, maybe when you let off the throttle, um, need a couple new points for sentence, but I'm not sure. Um, knock setting this is if you read the instructions on the manual it'll have some information on this uh, data file we can have two different files set up so I can go into um, here and basically hit up to turn one on or turn one off so you can have two settings based on maybe it's race gas versus like 93 octane or something like that Alright, so now to the fun part, high throttle and low throttle settings. For 550cc injectors, I'm going to start out with everything at negative 35% across the board. Um, other popular settings, I'll look them up here, but again, this is on the Stealth 316 website. It's just a calculation to determine uh, increased percentage based on the stock injectors. So what you're seeing here is if you have uh, three, if you go to 450 cc injectors, you're going to do a minus 20 percent. Uh, if you go to 520 cc injectors, you're going to go to minus 31. Since I'm at 550 cc, I'm doing minus 35. So I'll go ahead and jump into the high throttle settings by just hitting over to the right. Wow, this is going to be a mind-numbing thing to look at, but hopefully it doesn't flash too much. So essentially what you're seeing is, as I go to the right, see the number up top? That's the RPM value, 1400, 2000, uh, 2600. And at every single one, I've set the value at negative 35, just so I can start the car. So let's jump all the way over here. And to adjust these, they'll probably be at zero when you start off. If I hold the screen, still doesn't flash as much. But I just spin this. So that's saying less fuel, less fuel, more fuel, more fuel. So I set it all at negative 35 across the board. Jumping back, and I can go previous by clicking in the button and going previous. Low throttle settings, same exact deal to start off with. Um, and then when I start doing actual tuning, and that'll be part two, this is going to be kind of like a part video. I mean, I'm not doing, you're not even starting the car today. Um, but these are just the initial settings. So I think once you have that all set, you're pretty much good to go. Um, and then just one other quick thing I'll follow up with is if we come up to monitor, um, channels. How many different things do we want to display? Do I want to display one thing, two things, three things, four things, or graph it? Um, so maybe I just want to display one thing. All right, so I'll say next. I just clicked in, or you can just hit over to the right to go here. All right, now it's asking which one thing do I want to display. So, do, ooh, uh, I'm going to say previous. Do I want to split, just display throttle, uh, airflow, RPM? How do I get over there? There we go. I'll just wiggle this to get over. Um, because I think if you hit over to the right, it actually selects it. Oh, or you can go up and down, that'll get you to it. Uh, correction factor, so that's at like minus 35% I was showing you. Knock value battery. Uh, we'll put throttle on because that's the only thing that'll really look interesting. So as I give it gas, so pretty cool, huh?
All right, now let's say we wanted to display two different things. Previous, previous, I'm clicking in to get that screen to come up again. Channel two. All right, so maybe I want to see throttle and I also want to see um, battery voltage. So I'll move that down to there. Get over now I have throttle and you see my battery voltage is around like 11.4 right now. Um, and the other thing, so you're seeing the gauge there. Let's bump it up to four. And that's everything I'll show, that's fine. Um, what I can do is once I'm on the screen that shows like the graph or it'll, it might display this first, to get to the next like visual display you just you can just uh, click in and say next. It'll show you the next thing. So this is the graph that I'm seeing here. So you see my throttle position. So it's kind of cool there. I can maybe go up and down. Um, what you also have are um, what's called peak hold as well as pause and replay. So in this mode I can do record. So if I hit up, see the counter start to go down? I'm recording stuff. So let me do this. And then I can hit, I believe it's to the right or down. Let me try this again. Up to record and then and then fail on my part. Hold on. I just got it a second ago. Up to record. Down to stop it. Right to replay the recording. So that's how you can kind of see what happened. Um, another thing we can do if I jump to this screen here so right now if I hit up I'll see my peak hold so throttle right now is at 100% to reset it I go over to the right with the arrow and I'm gonna say reset all so now if I hit down to get it back into normal mode I, I take the throttle up to 23% and come off I hit up it's showing me 23 if I give it a little bit more it'll show me that new peak hold value 59 if I want to reset it again just go to the right and say all with it like selected highlighted like that um, the other thing we have are pause so if you want someone to see what it's like when you cross the line or shift or something like that you can hit it to the left it holds all those values now you're not seeing it change as I press on the throttle and to reset it back sit down all right so hopefully this is uh, useful and it's going to be an experience definitely for me trying to tune the car on my own see how good I can do it before I have to ask for more help but um this is part one thanks for watching